Cats are very, very different than, than, than humans and than the rats and mice that we typically study, and in particular because they are obligate cat carnivores. They, they, they really have to have only meat. And it was sort of generally thought that uh, every animal likes sweet. What we would do is we would just count the number of times the cat lapped at either the, the plain water, for example, and the sugar water. And for the sugar, as far as we can tell, they had no interest in it whatsoever. It, it, they acted as if it didn't exist. It wasn't there. I just thought it was crazy. You know, every animal can taste sweet. But when we all looked at the data, it was obvious that the cat and the lion and the tiger really were indifferent to it. I wanted to know why. So the hypothesis was that, that cats really wouldn't respond to sweets because the, the theory about how taste works is that there are these basic tastes, sweet, sour, salty, bitter, umami now, uh, that are designed to solve nutritional problems for animals. It's thought that, that sweet signals the presence of calories, but particularly energy-rich uh, sugars that are in plants. A carnivore doesn't eat plants, and therefore maybe there's no more pressure or, or evolutionary drive to be able to detect the thing in plants that most animals that eat plants like ourselves love. My colleague and friend Joe Brand, uh, who does this work in his laboratory, had the idea that now we could really test the question, uh, may, do they have the mechanism to detect uh, sweet things? We found the gene, we pulled the gene out, we sequenced it, and there was something wrong with it. A gap in the DNA, enough of a gap to completely make the gene inactive. We showed that the receptor was not even made by the cell, and therefore there's no recognition, there's no way that the animal could perceive sweetness. Because in, in humans, we're using the carbohydrate to make fat because we're overeating in the carbohydrate range. But the cat is not eating the carbohydrate for fat. He actually doesn't really want it. But when he gets it, he, he, he can't store it efficiently. And so if you do this every day to a cat, you create too much carbohydrate, eventually the cat becomes too fat, becomes obese, and he's, he has... Uh, develops diabetes and uh, it could be a very uh, good model for human obesity.